All righty. All right. Uh, first off, I'd like to start off with um, have you guys have signed in? Everybody signed in, by the way. You guys have signed in. You guys have signed in. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so then uh, uh, I'd like to call tonight's meeting of the public. It's a public meeting hosted by our committee of the whole community development regarding an application for a temporary amendment to our township zoning bylaw. Um, uh, so my name is Chris Ward and uh, uh, and this is the rest of the committee, obviously. Right now, we're all just uh, the uh, also town council. We're um, uh, where we are. And I'd like to also welcome the applicant, Cynthia Smith. That's you here. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, welcome staff and also um, uh, members of the public. I'm not sure you, you sound like you're with Cynthia. Yeah, exactly. So perfect. No problem at all. Okay. So uh, just to let everybody know this meeting is being recorded. And uh, welcome to anybody who's watching online. I don't see anybody watching online right now, but anybody who watches the video after the fact, obviously, we'll, we'll take you. Um, okay, so moving on to the approval of the agenda. I need a mover for the approval of the agenda. So moved. Moved by Deputy Mayor Dillabaugh and seconded by uh, Councillor Martel. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, disclosure of pecuniary interest or conflict of interest or the general... What do you have any? Good call. Do you have a question? Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you, sir. No, I did not. So on the approval of the agenda, sorry about that. I'd like to call the question. All in favor? Unanimous. Sorry about that. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Uh, all right. The disclosure of the pecuniary interest or conflict of interest or the general nature. Do they have any to declare? Uh, Hearing none. We can move on number four. Uh, all right. So uh, process and information. Uh, the community development coordinator can talk to that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So the meetings held under the authority of Section 34 of the Planning Act. We've advertised in accordance with the requirements of the Planning Act, above and beyond, actually. Um, we've advertised through the Brock Film Firm Times, the Press Spot This Week newspaper. The notice was mailed to property owners within 120 meters, and it's been on our website meeting calendar. Uh, the purpose of this meeting is to consider an application for a temporary amendment to our zoning bylaw for a portion of the property at 2460 Rooney Road. Anyone who would like to speak to the proposed amendment will be given the opportunity to do so tonight. Uh, before you share comments, please provide your name to our clerk. Your comments will be recorded in the meeting minutes and they become part of the public record. Um, Formal written comments are also accepted. Please address written comments to council and send them through um, myself to community development coordinator. Um, my email address is on the notice of public meeting. So this should be done as soon as possible, please, to give council the appropriate time to consider your feedback. Uh, the committee members may make a recommendation to council at tonight's meeting, but this is not a meeting of council, and there won't be a, um, a decision made at tonight's meeting. So taking into consideration comments for tonight, the committee may also request that the application be brought to a future committee meeting for further discussion by its members, and they may request that staff to take We make a recommendation to council to send paper, or we make a recommendation to or to staff to provide some more information. Um, if you don't make an oral presentation tonight or a written submission to the township before the bylaws passed, you will not be entitled to appeal council's decision for the Ontario Land Tribunal. I'm just speaking, speaking to members of the public in this case, not for the applicant, of course. Um, additionally, you, you may not be a party to a hearing of an appeal before the Ontario Land Tribunal unless. coordinator myself without this request a notice of council decision will not be mailed to me. Um number yep, five. Okay, I'm gonna give some details about the proposal um and application. So um back in December there was um uh, conditionally approved a uh, consent application to create a one hectare lot at 2460 Rooney Road and this lot was um to contain uh, an existing garage and accessory building on the lot. So the um, the issue with that is that creates um, a situation where it doesn't comply with our zoning bylaw. So to remedy that, the temporary zoning bylaw amendment is a condition of approval on the governance decision, and it would allow the accessory structure to be on the property for not more than three years. Um, and once the temporary zoning bylaw amendment is passed that would fulfill that condition on the severance application. So um, 
the proposal is to change the zoning on the one hectare of the property, which is a severed parcel from rural to rural temporary special exception two, in order to allow the accessory structure as an additional permitted use for up to three years. Um, section 39 of the Planning Act allows Council to authorize the temporary use of land, buildings, and structures for any purpose that is otherwise prohibited in the zoning bylaw through the zoning bylaw amendment process. The bylaw needs to specify the period of time to which the authorization will be in effect, which can't exceed three years. Um, and also note that Council may by bylaw grant further periods of not more than three years each time to um, allow the temporary. Okay, with the chair, just want to check it with Kuthia to see if I have missed anything or if there's anything you'd like to add. No, thank you. All right, good. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, all right, so then we basically now move on to the public comment section, which is going to be interesting since there is nobody from the public here right now, but I still have to ask the question, so I will. Uh, is there anybody present who would like to comment uh, on the proposed amendment? Okay. Hearing done. I don't have to repeat this three times anymore, right? I'm not, you know, we had that conversation in the past. So, okay, good. So, I won't repeat it three times then. So, now we move on to a new set. We've done some updates recently. And so, we're going to jump into the committee discussion at section C right now. Um, so, just to make sure, because it's the first time we've done this, are we, this committee you know, members, allowed to, uh, to talk to the owners? Or do we just talk amongst ourselves? Do we know that process? Um, so, you you can direct the staff. It would be up to your discretion if you wanted to allow okay. questions. Um, okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So then I'm going to open it up to the uh, uh, committee for discussion. Do you have any comments? I just have uh, the temporary bylaw. Once we gave that to them, that means they can go ahead, uh, Julie, Jared, the staff. That means they can go ahead and do the renovations in there. In the, uh, correct? Is that right? So for the chair, I'm just opening up the um, chair's decision on the application to send in the chair the package. Um, I believe all or most of those conditions have been cleared already. I think this is the last of the township um, conditions. We have a copy of the uh, survey and we have um, a letter to confirm that the uh, well, there was a shared well between the accessory building and the main building and that's been disconnected. Um, so after the temporary zoning amendment is approved, if it is approved, then we can release that, um, all of the township's conditions. The next step would, once all of the conditions are complete, they would make an appointment with the counties and um, complete the, the severance. But um, I guess to answer questions, once the zoning amendment is done, they would need to have the building on a separate lot before they could start renovations to make it uh, a dwelling, because you wouldn't be allowed to have two dwellings on the same lot Right now. So when the severance is done, that was a long way to get questions. And just to follow up, let's just need yeah. to sort of actually yeah. So they require a building permit for that as well. Was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll have to do a change of piece. Right. So, yeah. So just understand it. We, we get, we give them the temporary bylaw tonight. Goes to council at the end of the month. That's fine. But does that mean that they can get on the severance? That law after tonight, the temporary bylaws. This only can hold them up, I guess, is the question I'm asking. This is the last of the township's conditions. It's um, a temporary bylaw. I believe, yes, I believe they've cleared the conservation authority's conditions okay. also. So, um, it would say, yes, I okay, it would come before the council next week. Next week, I'm assuming that this council would come very okay, that soon, or is that not? That's what the committee would like to make that recommendation okay. for tonight. Okay. All right, sounds good. Mr. Mayor, anything to move? No, no, no. Mr. Martin? No. Mr. Snell? Through the chair to uh, staff, is there going to be a driveway connected to this? Because I've been looking at the diagrams and I don't see any. There is a driveway there. Oh, there's one there already? Because I don't see it in the diagrams. Okay. Very good. Okay. Mr. No. Chair, I'm new. You look good. Very okay. So I'm the recommendation. Yeah, just sorry about that. So um, I guess there is other recommendations. So that we we can make our own recommendation at this point in time. So who'd like to recommend? Uh, who'd like to move for a recommendation to move to council? Yep. To remove the temporary bylaw. 
Sounds good. All second. All right, seconded by the mayor. Okay, all in favor? Sounds good. All right, so uh, uh, then the next steps, uh, we have uh, recommended that we would move it to future council, which should be next week, the 27th of May. Um, for those that wish to attend the committee of council meetings, uh, I'm just reading some of the things. I got your notes, by the way. Uh, we don't have to talk about that. Um, yeah, so then by, by next week on May 27th, uh, if it gets approved, it, then and uh, uh, then you can finish the sentence with the with the county essentially. Mr. Chair, so once council adopts the bylaw amendment, we need to mail a notice of decision once it's signed, and once the notice of decision is sent out, there's a twenty day appeal period. And based on how many people came today, do we, do we have any other? So if you don't, we don't have something by today. We had comments from um, Trans Northern. That's just advising us of the check and all the comments that I made. But we have not heard from Sounds good. All right, then moving on to number seven, which is adjournment. And that's a 10 minute meeting. So I'd like to move for adjournment. So move. Moved by the deputy mayor, seconded by anybody else second it. <laughs> this could be a long meeting. Anybody in a second that meeting? Seconded by Councillor Martel. Thank you very much. Uh, all in favor? <laughs> there we go. All set. No just, problem. Just been dragging it. Was yeah, well, I appreciate that. I know you don't like that set a record. <laughs> I don't think it's even a record. I think we've got quite a bit of that. Oh, yeah, there's no reason.